This tutorial is going to show you how to uh, moder moderate a quiz in quizzes.next. Uh, and this is a little bit different than in legacy quizzes. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to show you is the fact if you want to change a due date, you have to go to the Assignments tab. You can see here I'm in the Assignments tab uh, in my Sandbox course. Um, in this, you can see this would be where I would go to add a new quiz or test. And I'm going to go down to a quiz demo that I created here earlier. It's clear down here at the bottom. So here's my quizzes next demo. And in order to actually edit the due date, you can see it's June 29th. Um, I need to go to these three dots and then hit edit. And notice here, I can change the date right here if I wanted to, but I can't change it for specific kids. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at June 29th for now. But notice this button over here, it says more options. I'm going to go ahead and click more options. Okay, and when I come uh, down, now this kind of looks like my assignments, right? Um, other than I don't have a uh, rich content editor up here to add instructions in. So if I come down here, um, this basically shows where I can change the date. Here I can change it for individual people. So if I start typing in like Janessa's name, for example, I'm going to change it for her. Um, and then I can give her a different due date. Um, so let's say it was due June 29th. I'll give her until July 31st um, on this particular quiz. Okay. And then I can go ahead and hit save. The other thing I want to show you real fast too, it's kind of different with quizzes.next is quizzes.next, unlike legacy quizzes, this is the quiz here. If I go down to the bottom, nowhere here on this page does it show me that I have uh, two questions worth one point apiece, okay? If you were to notice, if I hit return, which takes me back to the assignments um, tab, if I go down to that quiz down here at the bottom, it's worth 50 points, okay? So in order to change the points, I have two questions worth one point apiece. I also have to remember to do that here. That's one of the features I do not necessarily like about um, quizzes.next. Notice too, it also said multiple due dates. It says every one is June 29th and one student is July 31st. So that is kind of cool that it at least informs you of that. But if you made like 10 questions worth and you wanted it to be worth 10 points, and when you first built the quiz, you put that point value in as higher, this would be the place you'd go back to, do, to change the point value as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and publish. And then I'm going to show you here, if I just click on the link, it takes me back to the build page. I'm going to show you how to use some of the other moderation features as well. So if I go here to settings, there's a couple other things I can do. Um, I can shuffle the questions. I can do one question at a time instead of a long list of questions. I can require a student access code, which basically just means that uh, the students have to get a code before they can access the quiz. Um, this is the time limit. Um, you guys are familiar with that. Um, down here, I can allow multiple attempts if I wish to. Um, in this case, this is set to keep the highest. If I choose here, I have the choice of unlimited and limited. In this case, I want limited, and then I can set the number of attempts. And if I want, I can actually require them to wait a certain amount of time, whether it be days, hours, minutes, in between attempts. So maybe if a kid doesn't do very well and you want them to wait, you know, two hours, so hopefully they maybe go and study and then retake the quiz, that's an option as well. And then down here at the bottom, this is just a place where you can say, hey, I don't want the kids to see the results until a certain point in time. Um, you know, and so if you wanted to do that. The other thing that's kind of weird here is these are all toggle switches. There is no save button here at the bottom. Uh, so just so you're aware. Okay, and then last but not least, if I click on moderate, um, you'll see that here's each student that is taking the quiz. And if they would have had attempts, they would show the number of attempts here, what they got, how long it took them. Um, this moderate button, if I click on it, I can give the kids additional time, okay, or I can say no time limit, but that's the only thing I can truly do in moderate. So if I want to give them additional attempts, I would have to go to assignments and manually override it for everybody, or I would have to get go back here to settings 
and I would have to give everybody additional attempts right here. And then obviously those that would need it, um, they could get the additional attempts. If the kids were proficient the first time, they obviously wouldn't have to take it a, a, a second, third time, whatever, how many other attempts you want. Um, but this is the only place you can do it. So this is another thing too, that you can't give individual students, at least not very easily, additional attempts in quizzes.next. Um, but you could award it to the whole class and then individually inform those students that need it. Or you could go back to um, the assignments tab, okay, which I'm at here. Uh, go back to that individual assignment down here at the bottom. Um, and you could, you could do it by um, editing it here in the more options and by assigning the individual students. Just like you would on changing due dates, you would just reassign it to them. Um, at that point in time. So that is how you would moderate a quiz in quizzes.next um, as far as shuffling questions, adding extra time, extra attempts, or those types of things.